so our question is dna is acidic or basic getting right to the point it is correct for you to think that if dna is acidic or basic when uh, dna is also made up of bases so it can be base also then why is it acidic so dna has both acidic and basic components right the acidic component of dna is the phosphate group here this is a structure of a nucleotide given over here which is forming dna right so this phosphate group over here gives dna the acidic character then uh, why uh, well then then we can also notice that here is a base and there is this nh2 group over here so this is also giving the basic character of dna then why is it called a nucleic acid when it also has this basic component uh, let's as a reminder we should go and uh, again revisit the point that an acid is actually a hydrogen donor that is it has a negative charge and a base is a hydrogen acceptor with a positive charge okay so after this let's review some key point aspects of the dna structure okay so as we already know the letters in the word dna stands for deoxy ribonucleic acid dna is a polymer made up of monomers called nucleic acids so these are nucleic acid this whole thing or you can call it a nucleotide this is one nucleotide and what makes dna is a, is a polynucleotide one two three and four more than one nucleotide makes it a polynucleotide and that's what dna is made up of okay then uh, they are also linked uh, linked together in the long chains here they are linked this nucleotides are linked together okay each nucleus a nucleic acid monomer is actually made up of sugar that is deoxyribose okay and this is the pentose sugar we talked we are talking about this is the sugar this is the phosphate and this is the base okay so a nitrogenous base and a phosphate group is there the nitrogenous bases are called adenine this is a adenine guanine then thymine and cytosine right so a nitrogenous base linked to a sugar only the nitrogenous base linked to a sugar is called a nucleoside hmm. and when this whole thing is attached with a phosphate group this whole thing becomes a nucleotide right we are just going through the basic about the structure that is this polymers then built of multiple linked nucleotides are called this whole thing is called nucleic acids hmm. now notably most dna is actually found in the double strand form see one strand this and this is the second strand right so complementary base pairing uh, between those two this is the complementary base pairing between the two bases that is when a pairs with t with a double bond and g pairs with c with a triple bond uh, and base pairing occurs by the formation of the hydrogen bonds and two hydrogen for bonds form between the at and three between gc that is the triple bond we were talking about next is the formation of the phosphodiester bond between adjacent nucleotides okay so here is the phosphodiester bond forming which are formed between alternating sugar so this is one sugar second sugar and these are the phosphodiester bond hmm. so and also that uh, the phosphodiester bond is a linkage between a three prime carbon and a five prime carbon. So this asymmetric bonds mean that each DNA strand has a direction. So one of them is three prime and the same uh, opposite strand is five prime, going towards five prime. So they are alternate. And the phosphate groups in the phosphodiester bond are mainly negatively charged. 
they they have the negative charge why because at physiological ph at physiological ph phospho phosphate let me write this down at physiological ph phosphates have a negative charge now finally this dna is now forming this double helix so in a nutshell the structure of dna can be thought as a twisted ladder we can see the twist over here it's twisted yeah so with this complementary base pairs over here and which make up the rungs of a ladder and the sugar phosphate backbone this whole entire blue structure for is forming the sugar phosphate backbone hmm? of each strand making up each side of the ladder and this this is the phosphate bond which is actually exposed so they have the negative charge all this the uh, phosphate they are having the negative charge so that is what is exposed so again uh, coming back to the original question why is dna called a nucleic acid so when it also has a basic component the most straight for forward answer will be that with its negative charge the phosphate with its negative charge which is completely exposed it predominates or what to say uh, it is more prominent then the basic character of the dna so that makes up the entire backbone acidic and that's why uh, dna is acidic i hope that it clears my concept a little bit better we can understand then why is dna called acid and not a base when it has both the components